vacuum of ideas. Huh. You know, one of the most... Uh, you want me to say something that will blow your mind forever? I'm going to leave you with a thought that will just... This just going to F you up. You ready? <clears throat> Consciousness is just that friction you feel between what you expected to happen and what actually happens. Now, that's the first part, and I've said that before. And you could disagree or, or agree. Now I'm, gonna, now I'm gonna prove it. And my corollary to that, that the only, the only way you experience consciousness is that if what you expect to happen is a little different than what happens, even just in small ways. And then I'm gonna take that to the next level. If everything that happened happened just the way you expected it, your consciousness would flip off. It would just turn off. Do you know why? Because everything you expected would be just like you expected, and pretty soon you would stop seeing it. It would disappear. There's no friction. There would be nothing to keep alive your consciousness. Now, uh, you're not sold yet, are you? What is it that you do to go to sleep? You lay completely still until until what is happening to you, your body, is exactly what you expect to happen. Wait, I'm laying completely still. The way I feel now should feel exactly the way I feel in the next second. The moment it's right, the moment it's true, the moment it's true that you're laying so still that your next moment will be identical to your current moment, that's when you fall asleep. Because as soon as the next moment and the current moment are the same, you lose consciousness. Because you can't maintain consciousness if what you expect is exactly what's happening. And the only time you ever see that in your real life is when you're laying completely still and trying to go to sleep. How about that? (laughs) How about that? Explain anesthesia. Same thing. Anesthesia, as soon as you get it, it puts you in a case where your body doesn't move, and so your next moment on anesthesia will be just like your last moment, and then you're asleep. Now, the the drug to sleep part is, I think, a special case, so I I wouldn't go too far into that example. But... Consciousness is nothing but the difference between what you expect and what happened. And all you have to do is give the robot that sensation, which is easy, and it has consciousness. The robot needs to know, I think if I take this step, I'll just move forward and everything will be fine. Boop. True. I I think the temperature will be X. Well, it's this. As long as the robot or AI is moving through the world and measuring the difference between what it expects and what it's recording, it would have consciousness. That's it. It would have consciousness. That's all it takes. You know, assuming you could process that difference. You'd have to be able to process the difference, and it's that processing that gives it the illusion of consciousness. (laughs) What is a seizure, then? I don't know. Um... So, so what do you think? That going to sleep proves that consciousness is only the difference between what you expect and what happens. You didn't expect that to be so good, did you? No, you didn't. Well, that is going to get you thinking today. How high were you when you realized this? Well, that's a good question. Uh, pretty high. Pretty high. All right, and that's all for now, YouTube. Talk to you tomorrow.